multi-tools. Good stuff, right? Everybody likes multi-tools. If you don't, you're objectively wrong, quite clearly. So let's take a look at this one. So Stat Gear Tool sent me the Bits Blade. Every time I see it, I want to say Blitz Blade, my brain automatically fills in the L. And when I looked it up on a dictionary, that didn't really help. And it's got 26 functions, as it says. Uh, you know what, rather than just reading them out, I'll just show you. So, comes in this pouch here. There is a tool. And here you've got additional bits and blades and all of that. All right. The, uh, the sheath, by the way, is nothing special. It's very standard nylon sheath. It's kind of on the cheap side. Simple thing. All right. And then you've got this pen style multi-tool. So you've got the glass breaker here with a carbide tip. That's good to have accessible. Like you don't need to mess with this to use this. You just take it out and you can use it immediately. And then we've got the flashlight here. Prepare to be blinded. I mean, not really. It's it's not a strong flashlight. In fact, this is um I mean it's it's basically a key light. It's low powered and it's really just a little emergency thing, essentially. Better than nothing, that kind of deal. And then it screws apart. Inside, you've got the bit holder with a double-sided bit. So here you've got various Allen keys and Phillips screwdriver, flathead on the other side. You might say it comes with a fair bit of accessories. Uh-oh. I hear the sirens. They're coming for me. That pun was too bad. It was officially illegal. Okay, okay, I will admit that was a bit too dad-like of a joke. Her, her. Okay, okay, enough of that. So, what we've got here otherwise is, if I unscrew it here, there is a blade in there. This is a 440C stainless steel blade. It's got the tiniest jimping I've ever seen. Yeah. You can barely see it, and it doesn't really make much of a difference. I can, I mean, you can feel it a little bit, but it might as well not be there. So you could put it together this way if you want to. Just put the glass breaker in here. It comes with two other blades as well, so this just unscrews. Here you've got a pry bar and bottle opener. Little opening for as for use as a hex wrench. And then we've got this additional blade and scraper here. This one is chisel ground. You can see flat on one side. And just got the uh, edge bevel on the other side. I do like this blade here. You know, this this could the scraper here, that could come in handy. That can be useful, yeah. Although for pry bar, that's awfully thin. The issue with this configuration is it's kind of rattly. You can hold it this way. That's not a lot to hold on to, of course. I've been playing around with it to see if there's any other way to put it together, but it doesn't seem like it. Um, I mean, okay, I can... I can put this in here, but yeah, I mean, it adds the glass breaker, but it doesn't really give me much more to hold on to, just a little bit. But these two don't seem to connect by threading. Uh, if I unscrew this part here, that's how you can take off the belt clip, and there's just a thin thread in there. So that doesn't work for it. And up there, behind the flashlight. That's the uh, that's where the batteries are. So what can you do with this knife blade? Well, frankly, not a whole lot. I mean, this is really, really small and very thin. Plus, when I actually put pressure on it, this wants to come apart because it's, it's just loosely plugged in. So, in fact, this is... Even just with a cardboard, this is kind of not very useful. Like I, I feel it shifting the entire time, it wiggles back and forth, and there's there's not enough blade really to do a lot with. 
So, I mean, you can open boxes and whatnot, but this, no, I'd, I'd rather actually just hold on to this, even though it's really not much to hold on to. So now, you know what? No, maybe you can artistically carve an apple with this, but for everyday purposes, I don't see much use for this, quite frankly. I mean, if I, if I want a compact blade, then I'd much rather get something like the Spyderco here. It has way more blade. It's longer, thicker, wider, and I can hold on to it properly. So uh, you can probably already see where this is going. I'm not particularly impressed by this tool. If you want to send me stuff for review, I will definitely take a look and I will give you my honest opinion. And if I think it kind of sucks, then I will say so in this, in this case. Here is the, the other problem. This is sold for $100. $100. And they kind of, the, the marketing suggests that this is, yeah, the, the last multi-tool you'll ever need. And they, on the website, they show, or on the Kickstarter, they show you this image of a you know, transition from a primitive stone tool to a screwdriver and to a multi-tool and then this like as they're, they're basically implying that this is the pinnacle of multi-tool technology cannot agree with that i'm sorry not at all i mean let's see 100 us dollars if i pay an extra 10 i get this and this is personally my favorite multi-tool I've been using this over and over again, all the time. I use it all the time. It's the Leatherman Surge, and this has more functions. It's very solid. I mean, sure, it's large. You know, compared to that, it's larger and heavier. This here would be, you know, more convenient to carry, I suppose. But you get so much more. You get pliers, you get, you know, wire cutters, and you get also a bit holder. Granted, this does not come with a bit kit. You have to buy that separately. That's always something that bothered me a little bit about it, especially since the bit kit is kind of expensive. But, you know, it comes with a variety of tools. Plus, um, with this, like, all I need to do is pull this out, locks in place, and that's it. I don't have to handle several loose parts. You know, depending on where you are, if you have to mess around with a bunch of loose parts, stuff can, you know, you, you might drop it, it might get lost, you know, some of the, the bits might end up in the sewer, who knows what, you know? Stuff like that can happen, whereas here everything is attached, you're not going to drop it, and, you know, you've got file, and, and you've got full-sized knives, full-sized serrated knife, you know, full-sized plain edge knife, this is way larger and way more useful than this. So, frankly, there's there's no reason I can really recommend the bits blade over a multi-tool like this. I mean, don't get me wrong, if this was available for, say, $20, you know, $20 to $30, I could probably say, all right, all right, if, if you like the pen style multi-tool, then yeah, this is, this is neat, you know, that's, that's all right for that, but a hundred, I, I just cannot recommend it at that price. You know, the finish is nice and all, and I can appreciate the ideas that went into the design, and of course I don't know the production costs involved here, but I've seen stuff like this, you know, similar tools from China for like, 15 bucks or whatever. So yeah, I wish I could have given a more positive review, but I just can't. Anyway, so yeah, thanks again, StatGear, for sending this to me and everyone else. I hope you found the review helpful. Thanks for watching and have a good one.